We are here with Chris Brogan today at Simply Flying. Chris, thank you very much for joining us. And tell us a little about yourself and that new hairstyle that you've got. I'm Chris Brogan. I'm president of a group called New Marketing Labs, LLC. We're a very small online marketing company that helps companies understand how better to use social media type tools in their sales marketing cycle in their business relationship management. Uh, the look comes from shaving my head for a charity. I said that I would shave my head if we could raise around $10,000 for laptops for kids in schools who maybe could use them. And uh, so I've kept it short for a little while. It's summer here in, in the in Boston area. And uh, it's been an interesting change of uh, look for me because when I go out and about, no one knows who I am right away. Great, now Chris, let's put you in the shoes of an airline CEO. Imagine if you're running a, in, an international airline and it's downturn, it's recession times, no one's flying you, and you cannot spend on marketing. What do you do? Do you think social media is something good to go to? As the CEO of an airline, my job is to move people around and give them the best possible experience. I know that their dollars are scarce and I know that their time is important and I know that they want to have the best experience ever. The way I've tried to manage this in the past as a CEO is through making my operations as tight as I possibly can. And I think I've really bought as much efficiency as I possibly can bring to that. But now I need to turn around and understand that customer service is no longer just a cost center, but an opportunity house. I need to use the tools like Twitter and Facebook and all of these different types of social tools, which are all free or inexpensive, and I need to engage parts of my organization in a way that will go around our existing operational processes and seek the core of the value that people want to still spend in traveling around. The internet hasn't cut back on the need to travel. It's given us a new need to travel to bring face to face what we've already started online. And so my goal as a CEO of an international airline is to use these kinds of social tools to reach people where they are, to give them what they're asking for, and to forge a new relationship that goes beyond my gates, my dates, and my planes, and into a value add that might be more of a virtual concierge service to give them the travel experience from door to door. Hmm. I like that. But isn't building relationships about long term, whereas you must be thinking about survival in two months from now? I think you can do both. I think we need to go after people where they are and give them opportunity where they are. If I say I have to fly from New York to Singapore in the next couple days, that's an opportunity that I've just put out there in the social space. And people are doing this all the time now. They're making this a status message on Facebook. They're making this a, a comment on Twitter. When I've done that, I've opted in for your marketing. You're no longer pushing to try to get my attention. I'm asking you. I'm saying, where is a good place to stay when I get to Singapore? If your airline is the first to answer, then I'm the person who's going to respond fastest and say, thanks so much for the information, and I'll take a look. Sometimes this goes past pricing points, and instead it goes into what's going to matter most for me as a traveler. Me, convenience matters most. I want to know that I'm safe, I want to know that I'm handled, that I'm cared for, and I want to know that people are treating me like more than another seat on their airplane. Hmm, interesting. Where would you start? Is it, do you start at the Twitter and Facebook level or do you start at strategy level? How do you start? That's a great question. I mean, there's two ways to go at it. If you start at strategy, you run into sometimes a paralysis. You worry about the fact that you don't know where to start. You don't know what to do first. What I tell people in, in, in switching hats back to social media guy, I tell people start at listening. Where are people talking about you? You can use simple, simple free search tools to find this out. You can look at Google blog search, you can look at Twitter search and see whether or not people are talking about your state, your country, your airline already, and then maybe you can engage there. So maybe I don't start at strategy, maybe I start at listening and I use that to influence what my goals might be, where I think my first early steps are gonna be, and then I'll build a strategy to hit those goals. Thereafter, I want to execute fast because it costs nothing or it costs little. I want to do fast trial and error because as you pointed out, I only have a few months to stay alive as CEO of this company. I really need to make sure that I can make dollars change faster. Well, relationships aren't fast by nature. Relationships are like farming. We plant the seeds, we put in the water, we wait for the sun, we hope things grow. Right. If we don't start planting early, then we're never going to have the harvest when we're hungry. So we have to jump in fast, but in measured ways. We don't bet all of our life on one crop. Instead, we plant a few test beds and see what happens. Interesting. Now, who will do this execution? Is it the marketing folks or the corporate communications or the IT? 
this is to me a, a whole change of how things have been done. Marketers are great at helping people move towards a sale. Corporate communications is great at telling the company's story. IT is great at keeping the engines of technology running. Customer service is wonderful at handling the humans. I would start a customer service. It's a people job, social media are people tools. I think that it's one step up from a standard customer service experience, which is to smooth your existing ops. This requires thinking. This requires your sort of second tier customer service person, perhaps your warm advocate. This kind of person should then be trained through media training to understand the difference between a good customer service answer and a good answer that represents the company. Mm -hmm. And then they should be empowered because if they're nothing more than the, the level of a customer service rep, then they can't ever go above and beyond if you haven't set up your organization to manage that. Hmm. They understand that this kind of response will now handle more than just customer service, such as what Frank Eliason did with Comcast in the US. Comcast Care started taking above and beyond treatments that went outside of simple customer service. And as such, he got tied into marketing, tied into corporate comms, and there was a shift in how business got done. I think that's where you start. It has to be an it can be helped by consultants, but it, I think at the heart of it has to be something your organization owns and lives inside. Spend money on the trainers. Don't spend money on hiring warm bodies outside of you because then you have never you know, compartmentalized and brought in the experiences that you'll learn through this. You're right. One of the key words you mentioned was empowerment. Now that, for airlines, often tends to be a scary word because airlines like control. It's a controlled message that goes out to different target markets, but social media is all about giving up control. Is that right? How do you control messages on social media? Let's look at two of the top three automakers in the U.S. who have both declared bankruptcy. They had excellent control all the way to the grave. Uh, shall they pull themselves back out is another whole question, but guess what? At least one of them, General Motors, has opted to follow the word of the people, to understand what's going on, and to learn from the masses who are asking them passionately to be heard at the table. Uh, control is a perfect thing to exert in the air. Control is a perfect thing to exert when you're maintaining the fleet. I want the best possible operational controls in place to know that my plane is the safest and the most prepared plane in the air. What breaks down is when we deal with humans. Humans are not controllable. Your children are not made to be efficient. Your spouse doesn't do things because you know the best optimal way to do them. It's always a relationship and an interaction. The same follows true to customers. If you keep pushing your customers down a tube and you keep pushing the messaging down the tube, in the old days, maybe this was the only way they had to learn. But now your customer knows plenty more than what they ever used to. David Ogilvy said in 1960, the customer is not an idiot, not a moron, she is your wife. This is the same way we should be looking at our customers today, and this is the same way we should approach using these social tools to change how we do our business communications. Great. Now, now that we have discussed social media, what are you going to go do tomorrow to get started on? What are the three things you'll get started on tomorrow? First thing I do is set up listening. I start with free tools. I use Google blog search and Twitter search and some of the other uh, search type tools to start feeds of listening so I know where people are having conversations. The second thing I do is I discover how others have done it and I look really quickly through the wisdom of existing airline companies. So I might follow what Morgan Johnston does on Twitter for JetBlue. Those, I take my listening, I take my learning, and I, I take baby steps. I introduce myself to the other people. If you think of these new spaces as, as commons, as areas where we all get together for many different purposes, like a big park, I can't go in there with a bullhorn and talk about my sale. I have to go in as a person and shake a hand. I need to meet people and, and greet them. And so the third step is be there. So first is listen, second is learn, and the third is be there. These are all actionable things that will get you closer to what you're going to pull into your company as a strategy because you've taken the time to pay attention, you've taken the time not to reinvent anything, and you've spent some time getting to know the people who you hope to engage with. Great. Uh, we wish you from Simply Flying all the best for running your airline. Thank you. Simply Flying is the right kind of place to learn about running an airline, so thank you. You're welcome.